<coughs> I just played the video lah. Hey guys, just woke up. Hashtag woke up like this. I dream I can run. <laughs> Alright girls, so we're finally in the same school and this time you won't let anybody step over us. Hi guys, I'm Diana and you may have seen me in Ridwan's videos or N41. Today, we'll be answering 50 questions asked by Ridwan. I don't know what the questions are, so let's go. <laughs> what did you do yesterday? I played Mobile Legends yesterday <laughs> with Titan Team. What is your most liked photo on Instagram? I don't know. Shall we see? Yeah. I'm scared. Are you hoping it's with you? I... I don't think so. Oh no, it's uh, <laughs> me in a sauna. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favourite video that you've appeared in? One of my favourites is definitely the one that I fought. Oh. Yeah, that's one of it. And the one where you forced me to cry. Fuck. Yeah, I feel like those two just really pushed me. What is your talent? I don't know what my talent is, but I can tell you what I'm really good at. I'm good at being very practical. I'm a very practical person and I'm good at overseeing the big picture. What is the most common first impression people have about you? Unapproachable, I think. I have a resting, like, really stern face, I think. If I don't smile, I'm just like... <laughs> like, you wouldn't want to say hi to me. But, I'm very bubbly if you know me, right, Rit? <laughs> What is your biggest turn off? Um, I would say empty promises. Like when someone promises you something and then they just like go back on their words. How old do you think you will die? Oh man, probably from health problems. My mom actually had like diabetes only when she's pregnant with me. I have higher tendency to get diabetes and I'm scared. Little cancel uh, Diana's dinner. Oh! Tell me a joke. You are a joke. <laughs> tell, tell, tell them a joke. A joke. Oh, tell them a joke. What, what's the joke? You. <laughs> um, would you prefer to live in a peaceful countryside or a busy city? Busy city because I need to do something here, person. I cannot stay still and like just chill and do nothing. But like, I'll go crazy. Ah. Do you prefer sporty guys or artistic guys? How about business? No, there's, there are two choices. <laughs> Alright. Artistic, I would say because. I'm not into like buff guys. I like like that bots. What was the last book you read? The Dragon Queen or something like that. The Dragon Queen? Yeah. Something like that, okay? I might be wrong. <laughs> if you could be a mythical creature, what would you choose? A dragon. I wanna fly and like be all fierce and shit. What is your favorite color? I like red a lot. Red? You like red? Red! Oh, I thought you said red. Red, red. I thought it was me. My name is Red. What is your favourite flower? My favourite flower is peony. Speaking of flowers, some of you guys know that BB Blumen is owned by me and now we have rebranded it to 33 Petals & Co. If you guys want to order for Valentine's Day, Chinese New Year or any events such as proposals, anniversaries, we can customise them for you. Order now. I have a question for you now. What? Are you going to buy flowers from me? Let's see how whether if I have anyone to buy for. Um, so guys, if you are single and available, you can now DM read one so that he will buy flowers from me to give to you. If you had to change your name, <laughs> what would it be? I won't change my name. If you had to. If I had to. Oh boy. What would be a good name? I will call you mine. <laughs> what is your favourite scent? I have a very sensitive nose. When I smell something, for too long, I will get a headache. So no thank you. Do you prefer swimming in pools or in the ocean? Well, I would want to swim in Maldives with the sharks. Manta rays and all that, that seems pretty nice. What would you do if you found $50 on the ground? If like I'm around the filming crew or something, right? I'll be like, oh, did someone drop their $50? But if there's no one around, like literally there's no one around, I'm just gonna take it. Don't pretend, you're gonna take it too. <laughs> If you had to have a tattoo, what would it be and where would you get it? It would be somewhere hidden, I would say. Maybe my back, around here. But I've always wanted my bag full of like a dragon. 
<laughs> a dragon tattoo that will like swirl around my body. So it's very extreme, as you can tell. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Metal with time. Mm, time travel. Yeah, I want to time travel, man. I don't know. Some things are not meant to be metal with, and time is one of it, I guess. What is one thing you want to overcome or conquer? My introverted self. I'm a little bit of an introvert. I want to be more friendly to others and stop being so introverted, you know, like you're killing the vibe. What is your most used emoji? Oh, let's check! It's the uh, emoji of the hard eyes. How would you spend your ideal day? Oh, I know! Being so productive while I'm travelling. I think that would be like amazing. I did accomplish something while I'm doing something I love. I'm making tons of money from it. Describe yourself using one word. Practical. Very practical. What? Why you laugh? <laughs> I do not know why I laugh. <laughs> you don't think I'm practical? Yeah, yeah. You don't think so? Yeah? Yeah? yeah. 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 But Rit, on the other hand, is very emotional. It's driven by emotions. So we always clash. If money was not a factor, how would you live your life? I would travel so much because traveling just gives me this adrenaline knowing that I'm just a small part of the world, right? I'm nothing, like nothing compared to the world. What do you regret the most? It's not being there when my mom was sick and hospitalized. I think it was like running from my own emotions. Like I don't want to feel, I'm a really I don't want to feel kind of person. So when I'm put in a spot where I have to like grow up and take over the business and I also have to be there, for my mom, I don't want to deal with that. I can't deal with emotions. What is the one thing you want to teach your children? To live a life that they are proud of. Sometimes in life, there's always going to be like people judging you like what's right and what's wrong. But as long as you're happy with it, I think you're okay. What would you want your legacy to be? In the near future, I hope to open a few businesses and hopefully when I'm not around anymore, it's like one of the businesses will grow really well so that they will be able to feed families and also create a better future for the younger generations to come. Tell me about an embarrassing moment. Oh my gosh. There's one time, I think it was during O-levels. You know if you're Malay, right? You... What is that? It's one, one of the practices to just like, give me your hand. Okay. So you're supposed to do this and you're like supposed to... Yeah, okay. Do it oral. <laughs> You know how the person, the person in front was a, a Malay lady, right? Older than me for sure. So she like this to me and I thought she wanted to salam me instead. <laughs> so I salam her instead of giving her the, 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 the paper. paper yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty embarrassing but I guess so well. <laughs> I don't know why I thought about it the first thing. <laughs> What do you look forward to in 2021? To be a better version of myself and to make sure that 33 Petals & Co is doing really well. So those are the 50 questions. Do you have anything to say before the video ends? I hope you guys enjoy your 2021. Go and chase your dreams and don't forget to support 33 Petals & Co. Bye!